Hey there, rulers. DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Dusk Girl reincarnation list from Steven Jesswain that I was able to pilot to a finish. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to pre order upcoming Force of Will sets, ccgprimes.com for singles and supplies, cardodoco.com for those rulers in the international market looking for product, the Ruler School Circuit Series now offering our quarter two 2024 circuit kits, and our guest lecturer members, Fight Ramen. Class is in session. So here is the list. As always, you can also find a link to it directly on Force of Wind in the description below. Thanks to Steven Jesswain for hooking me up with this list. It was actually a lot of fun to play, and it was cool to actually try my hand at a red deck uh, to be successful with it, because we all know that I can't play red most of the time. Keeping in mind that Dusk Girl does become red and black on the front side now with the newest version. And the main thing that we want to use here on this front is this discard a card technique, which I'll move myself out of the way so you can see. This is kind of a way that we can do that damage to our opponent, which we'll talk about here, as well as this ability to recover ourselves once per turn when we're hitting stuff, which pairs really nicely with the reincarnation of Nyarlathotep. Tip. Biggest thing is this makes her being a 15700, uh, which helps get around stat nanks, especially when you further pump it up with the regalia and this inheritance ability so that if Dusk Girl or Scarlet, remember she'll gain the names if she's reincarnated, deals damage to something, it also deals it to its opponent. So even if they block stuff, they're still taking the damage from the Yarly. Keeping in mind that with the Return of the Usurper is the way that we're buying back to be able to reincarnate. You put Judgment on the Chase, use this ability to buy the uh, Yarly set back to your hand and then you can reincarnate on an empty hand which is really nice and then if you have zero cards in your hand you get to draw a second card which is nice so a lot of really good ways that you can do this here this is kind of the main way if you are um if it's the only card in your hand you can always just buy it back and pay one for it that's also a thing to note although at that point in time she'll only have belligerence so that's something to note there too uh, Richelieu is really good to be able to give your opponent something that you can use to either swing into as Scarlet or uh, burn on Dusk Girl's side and then draw yourself some cards, which is helpful. Protuberance Chrono Gear for some recycling as well as setting up that Inherit the Stars ability. Percival, fascinated by the Holy Grail to help us dig to those regalia. Shu is really helpful to be able to get stuff, at, you know, the deck kind of stays low to the ground, but having extra will to be able to play some combat tricks or other things is very helpful, as well as setting us up for some things like um, being able to uh, <coughs> do solarization with things like protuberance or crimson flare or um, the star whip or even just um, cr protuberance chrono gear as well. Raging Messiah, you saw what we were able to do with that. It's a great way to be able to, again, produce will, double damage, help close out games, and it can't be canceled, which is nice. Pairs nicely with Chivalry's Tears to be able to burn stuff out of the way. Uh, Last Secret Sword as well to be able to help us answer and get our hand emptied as fast as possible. Crimson Flare is really nice, just a couple copies because uh, we can just search for as many as we want, but really two is all you really want here, um, which is really nice to be able to, like... There are opportunities where I have been on an empty chase had the protuberance stacked on top of it uh it's two green stacked under two things um then had two resonators that were pretty big on our opponent's side of the field or j resonators casted this burn my opponent immediately cast the second one burn my opponent because i regained priority after the first one resolved and closed the game out that way which is just really nice um Dusk Girl uh, gets to have that God Art for Heavenly Fruit, so we're playing a single copy, though I do think you could probably cut it. And then the Regalia package of four Gleepnir for some draw power, as well as if she deals damage when she's flipped, you get to also draw a card, which is really nice. Uh, for Death Scythe to be able to pump up, as well as buy back and serve as a nice discard outlet. And then Horn of the Sacred Beast for even more pumps and potential recycles as needed. Lastly, a single copy of Protuberance Star Whip, just because we have Protuberance Chrono Gear, so maybe we reincarnate into a brand heart and kind of go in from there. Stone Base is just 10 red black stones, including four null stones for that additional mana value potential. And then your sideboard is Rogue Spectator, uh, Protuberance. Those are kind of the two main cards you want. So you can reveal and then just you know flexible green uh, black or black red cards kind of based on what your meta is so that is the list thank you all so much for watching let me know what you guys have been trying out with the different reincarnations and again thanks to steven for shipping me this list glad i did you proud by winning a match buddy and until next time this is gmo 73 saying class dismissed